Hi guys, this is Mary with Izuru and I'm so excited to be with you today. I am showing you the digital planner that I just created and released on our website and how to use it. This is a flip through to show you kind of all the pages that it has and how to use it, how to have fun with it and plan the best life for you. So let's get started. I am super excited to show you this planner, but before we get started, I wanted to share with you why I made this and who it's for. I made this planner to empower people to identify priorities, get things done, achieve what is most important to them, and make time for the things and people that really matter. This planner is for you if you want to get more organized, enjoy being creative, and want to give, want to live your most amazing life. I'm super excited, so let's get started. This is the planner. Um, before we take a look into the planner, I do want to show you the note-taking app that is required to use um, to, to use the planner. And this is the one that I use. It's called Good Notes, and it's available inside of the App Store just for a one-time purchase of um, a small fee. So let's get into it. This is the planner within Good Notes. And this is, it comes in two different colors. This is the, the pink colorway with pink, gray tones, tan, and then there's also a black and white version right here. And they are identical um, except for the colors. So I'm just gonna show you the pink one for today. And this planner is completely interactive with hyperlinks that take you to different pages within here. So these are all different sections that you can customize yourself. Um, this is a really important detail that I want to share. Um, do not delete or move any pages because it could affect the hyperlinks and um, they may not work as they were intended anymore. So you definitely don't want to delete or remove any of the pages that were linked in your planner. Um, and the next thing I want to show you, which is really important, is this icon right here. It looks like a pencil with a circle around it. This is a close-up of what it looks like. And it's located in the top right of Good Notes. You want to be on this if you want to click on any of the links. If you want to edit, and write in here or draw in your planner, you want to click this again and it'll bring up your, your pen, highlighter, uh, eraser, highlighter, drawing tools, lasso, and you can import pictures into here as well using this tool. This is the index page right here you can get to in this corner. This index page includes templates for different types of paper. As you can see, there's blank, grid paper, different size grid paper, different size dotted paper, lined paper, half lined paper, and uh, list on here. And there's also calendar pages here with yearly pages, different options for monthly pages, weekly pages, daily pages, and these are well-being page templates for gratitude, routines, health, meals, habits, finances, and goals. And this section on the bottom is for you to customize and label the sections that correspond to these tabs here. So I'll walk through and do a flip through of all these pages for you to see, and then I will fill these sections in so you can kind of get an idea of how you might do it on your own. So there you go. Any of these are clickable, so you can click on this one to get to a blank page, or you can click on the image to get to that page. So this is what the page templates look like. This is the list page, half grid, larger dotted page, 
half-lined page, Coronel page, and four list. And this is the yearly spread here. Monthly calendar. A different option for a monthly calendar with a note section. Weekly spreads here. And these are all undated. I don't have dates on here so that you can reuse these pages year after year. You don't have to get a new planner. These are daily spreads with different options for notes here on the side. And this daily spread is my personal favorite. It has an area for top priorities on top, lists on the side, notes in the center, and uh, time on the side here. And these are the well-being templates. This is gratitude for morning and evening. And at the bottom, it's a great spot for adding photos to remember the day. This is for routines, for tracking morning routines, afternoon routines, evening, for tracking it throughout the week. This is the health and fitness tracker with goals, tracking for sleep and water, and activity throughout the week. This is a meal planning sheet with meals for the week as well as a grocery list on the bottom. This is a habit tracker for tracking daily, also weekly, monthly, and 30-day challenges here. Finances, goals on top, income, bills, fixed finances, other expenses, and totals at the bottom to help you stay on budget, and goals. To help with achieving your goals, you can write down your big goal, break it down into smaller goals, deadline, reward, and accomplished. So those are the templated pages, and all of these pages link to their corresponding sections here. So you can customize these pages any way that you would like, and I'll show you an example of some sections that you could create and how you can copy these templates over into these sections. So let's start by uh, creating this one. Um, so again, you want to click this button so that you can type. You can type or you can write. It's really up to you. Um, but let's say I wanted to write and I wanted this to be my calendar. And I wanted this one to be my journal and let's say this one is just a, a sketchbook I'll also show you how to use this type tool if you want to do that you can type it out if you don't like your handwriting um, let this one be meal Planner. We can make this larger by resizing it. And you can also use this lasso tool to copy this one. Paste it here. And type out your next one which is, let's say, homeschool. And let's 
say the last one. So you can really use it for any area of your life. Uh, there's so many different things that you could use this for, but there's 12 sections here. So you know you can use maybe one side for home, one side for work. It's really up to you how you want to use it. It's really flexible. And that's how I wanted to create this uh, so that it could be super customizable for your needs. So let's try to put some pages in our calendar section right now. Um, so how we do that is you pick your page. Let's say for the calendar I want a yearly page. So I go to my yearly page and what I want to do is I want to click on these three dots right here in the top right corner and I want to go to copy page and then I go to the section that I want it to be. So this is let's write calendar on here. Actually let's go the entire thing with the lasso you really have to especially with handwriting you have to circle the entire thing and then we can resize this and we could do that for the other ones. That we have all those we'll go back to that calendar page right we wanted to copy this calendar page behind this section this calendar section so we click on the top three dots and go copy page we go to this section and we click on these top four squares right here in the left and it will bring you to a thumbnail version of your entire planner with the current page that you were on highlighted in blue. So what you want to do is there's a tiny little black arrow on the bottom. You click that and then you click add page after paste page. And there is that yearly page right there. And so let's say we want maybe like this monthly page. You copy this one in the same way and then you navigate to where you want the page. Let's say you want it after this yearly page. You navigate to here and then you click on the four squares and then you click on that little black arrow and then add page after. Paste page and now there is the monthly spread. And let's say you want, you like this weekly spread. You go copy page navigate to where you want it so you want it after the monthly after the monthly page so click to this monthly page go to those four squares this little black arrow and then add page after paste page and there is your weekly spread and last one is the daily spread let's say like this one copy page navigate to the weekly spread because you want the daily page after. Click on these four squares, 
add page after, paste page. So there are all of your calendar pages directly after your calendar section. So if you go here, now when you swipe through, you'll see all the pages that you've added. So now let's do the same thing for a journal. For a journal, I like to use, um, let's see, a variety of lined pages. Let's say you're doing morning pages and you just want lines. So copy this page, go to the section that you want it. So I want it after this page. Click on these four squares, add page after, paste page, and this will give you the lined page there. And let's say I also want um, to journal and for gratitude. Let's say I take this gratitude template page, I copy this, navigate to my journal section. So I want it after this page, click on the four squares, add page after, paste page. And now there is my gratitude. And if I want to, you know, repeat this for every day. I say I do morning pages and I do gratitude every day. What I can do is I can press select, select those two, copy it, done, and then I add page after, paste pages. And now it has pasted both of those pages and you can keep on repeating that for every day that you want to do these. If you want to do multiple pages at one time, that's how you would do it. And let's see, for a sketchbook, let's say I want just a blank page for my sketchbook. I copy this, go to my sketchbook tab, click up here, and add the page after. And now that's done. Let's see, meal planner. So I would go to my meals templated page. I would copy this page. Go to my meal planner page. I want it to go after this. So what I want to do is click on those four squares, this black arrow, add a page after, paste the page. Now my meal planning pages come after this. And let's see what else, homeschool. So for homeschool, let's say I like to plan on a weekly basis and I like to just keep it very minimal like this. So I'm gonna copy this page, navigate to my homeschool tab, go to these four squares to add it right behind this section. Paste page. And business. So for business, I am going to use the templates uh, goal page for that. So I'm going to copy that page to keep track of my business goals. Navigate to the business section of my planner and add page after, paste page. There you have it. So that is kind of how you fill out or how you copy a templated page over to one of your sections to create customized planners pretty much. You can consider each of these a planner or a, um, a section or category of your life that you want to organize um, into these sections. And I do want to show you what comes with this planner. So this planner comes with um, a sticker set which looks like this. This is the matching sticker set for the planner. It has, um, this is a good notes file and so they're pre-cropped um, and you can really easily use them. I'll share in a separate video how to use the stickers um, into in your planner but uh, I just wanted to show you what the stickers look like and also what comes with the planner are a few different cover options. So you'll notice this is the one that, that is in the planner right now, but it also gives you some other options too that you can um, switch the, the cover to if you would like. So there's a black version, a brown version, and that pink one that is currently in there. And so whether you purchase the black 
uh, and white version of this planner or the pink version, you get the, um, the, the cover options as well as the sticker set. Um, again, look out for the tutorial on how to replace the cover for your planner in another separate video. And that's it. If you're new to digital planning and um, you want to just get started with it, um, I am going to post some resources for you down below. And they are free resources, so you can test them out and see how you like them, try to use them before you commit to it. Um, but if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. I love hearing from you guys. If you have any questions or suggestions, um, I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.